we have a very special guest in here for y'all today. Exactly. My man, Coach Brandon nice Rollins. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Man. Series over tonight. <laughs> <Yeah>. Blah, blah, <laughs> yeah. blah. And lo and behold, man, nobody except for LeBron played well. Right? right. You know, it wasn't really like that, but it felt like that anyways, right. dog. So what was your reactions when you was watching that game? Man, I mean, I, the elephant in the room is the last play. Yeah. Uh, I Get into it, coach. I prefer him not to call. I think Braun is the, the greatest driver of the basketball ever. I know he's going to get a foul call if he goes up all night. I mean, Jay Crowder, butt on the ground, <laughs> and one. You know, but again, in that moment, once you make it to that point, you make the right play, he made the right play. I mean, I, I'll stick with that, but I think there's some things that could have happened prior to that. <laughs> so what was it like playing? What's it like playing out of school and then years later, now you're the, you're the head coach? Uh, you know, kind of in the moment, that's not something you're thinking about. You know, my, my... First year, right? Yeah. So you didn't even get to coach a game yet? No. Well, no, last year I, last year was my first year there. Last year. Um, you know, we, we go a game below 500. We are kind of loading the bus to, to go to our, you know, at our level, the, basically the NIT tournament. And, you know, that's the end of it. I get a phone call. We're done for the year. And it's, uh, I knew before we even before we even made the national tournament. like That y'all had a chance. Yeah, and, and for a career-wise, like, this is where I'm at right now. I can help these guys kind of shift their perspective of themselves, you know, through hoops. You know, I, I tell my guys all the time, that ball to me isn't a ball. It's every sacrifice. It's every friendship. It's yes, sir. Every, you know. It's not just a ball. Preach, you know? Pastor. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's not so do you think because you are a player coach, it brings you more connected to the players? Yeah. Trying to get them, you know, comfortable with playing yeah. since you already had to walk through the motions yourself, right? Yeah, 100%. And I will say that there's an adjustment between assistant and head. Um, um, I love football. Um, you know, going into seventh grade, crack my sternum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, for those that don't have a medical background, where is the sternum? <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's right here. <laughs> right it, down the it's center. It's not something you get a cast for. You just kind of let it, got to let it heal. Did you get hit? Got hit. That's, a, that's a tough yeah. one to bust right yeah, there. Yeah, got hit. And, and, and I'm not going to lie, when it's cold outside, I'm not one to want to be out there. <laughs> <laughs> How was it climbing through the coaching ranks so fast? Or do you consider it to be fast? It was it was definitely fast. Yeah. You know, one, one thing that I would say, um, and this is kind of what I've been trying to teach every guy that I've been with, man, you know, don't don't make basketball your identity. Make so one of my questions that I was going to ask, and, and you kind of answered it, was why did you choose NAIA? And um, obviously you felt like that's where your skill set fit better. Can you elaborate on that as a coach, you know, for players who, you know, maybe have aspirations to – play above themselves, you know, or, or above their capabilities. Right. Well, I'd say the first thing is ability. You know, I mean, when I'm eight, nine years old, I wasn't in my backyard, five, four, three, two, one, made the buzzer shot for SCU. Right. right. You know, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know um, I was, especially around that time, man, it's something that I, that really imprinted me that I, I understood I could coach, especially being black. I mean, oh, you goes back-to-back -back, Samson and Capel, you know, so for me. Because, you know, you, you know them guys, you like, dang, he must have played somewhere. No, he didn't play nowhere. Right. That dude was good. Right. right. Them cats end up at NAIAs. Right. Junior colleges. Right. You know. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm them cats. <laughs> <laughs> right. And that's one thing about junior college, like to say, it's another chance to resell yourself. Right. Like, because uh, I played in Sacramento. That's where I'm from. I played junior college. But there was a lot of people from my junior college year that I seen go off and play D1 ball. Right. Like, my center, Casey Arnt, played yeah. at OU. Yeah. 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 That's the yeah. biggest blessing I feel like the kids have nowadays is just access to tapping. There's several AAU teams, you know. <laughs> Obviously, uh, Team Griffin is one that I will always champion. Um, but there's several teams you can play for to get different roles. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, you can... And that you, matters. Yeah, you can be a star on the team. You could be a catch-and-shoot guy on the team. You could be a defender on the team. Right. You know, and that that's what that's the the best part about social media is that it's 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 smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, so anyone who 
kind of goes through four years of high school and say they want to be uh, a college athlete and never tapped into the social media aspects that allow you to be exposed and to learn. You know, you, you didn't try hard enough. You're doing yourself a <laughs> yeah, service. You know, you didn't Especially try. this day. Yeah, you didn't try hard enough. So you said, Honesty. You're, you're, you're recruiting me right now. I'm back. I'm a 17-year-old, and I'm like, Coach, you know what I'm saying? I want to play for you. What can I expect from you? Honesty. You know, hey, man, you, you are not good enough right now. Here's some things I feel like you can work on. Uh, here's some avenues for you to kind of get to that point. Dang, I'm not good enough, coach. Yeah, not not yet. <laughs> not, yet. <laughs> not, not yet. Or if you are good enough. Yeah. Like my life jacket, this ice in my veins is something titanic. Lockdown defense kept me out the center for detention. Divine intervention passes over to my center. Alleyways are the alley youths. Some got no looks and passed away when somebody shoot. Back in court, duo, but nobody hoops. The wrist follow through in the cuffs. Got a loop, pick a book or pick the bank it book. It's just you and I out running suicides. Me, I was out running suicide. Boy, I'm going in, dropping gems that I picked up in these gems. I can't slack, I've been down and back. I'm just trying to share a few tales from this thing called life. Count my assists, man, I swear that basketball really saved my life. Yeah, uh, yeah. I swear it saved my life. Let's go.